Sometimes in a business context, having received a piece of information, the listener asks the talker a question that is clearly more fundamental than the talker was expecting. And the talker's reaction makes it clear that they think the listener's question was stupid. But I think that the very fact that the listener is asking an apparently stupid question means that something was missing from the talker's information. The missing piece could be the context in which the information should be considered an indication of the effect or impact that the information is expected to have on the listener or some direction on the action the listener is expected to take as a result. All of which means the talker's information was deficient, incomplete or unclear to the listener. And that is a failure on the part of the talker, not the listener. If somebody asks you an apparently stupid question, you probably need to think about improving the way you deliver information. When a listener needs to ask apparently stupid questions to achieve understanding, then the only truly stupid questions are the ones that aren't asked. So on Ask a Stupid Question Day, yes, it's a thing, Google it if you don't believe me. How about you ask me the stupid PMO questions you've been wanting to ask? Leave them in the comments if you're feeling brave, DM me if we're connected, or use the form linked around this video. It doesn't matter how stupid you think your question is, ask away, we won't judge. We'll do our best to answer your question in a future post or maybe a video. Tag someone who needs to see this. Hit the like button if this resonated with you. And subscribe or follow for more content like this. I'm Ken Burrell from Pragmatic PMO. See you soon.